Hi, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherschool.co.uk and this weather school video is about the storm system that's affecting the British Isles. It gives us a good opportunity to have a look at how charts represent this and just to pick out one or two things that you might be able to spot on the charts too. By the way, this is being recorded on Tuesday the 4th of February 2014. Fantastic view here from earth.northschool.net. Superb uh, portrayal of the winds uh, flowing at the jet stream level. You see them here coming in straight across the Atlantic look and close to the system that's off the uh, southwestern parts of the UK. Fantastic portrayal there. Great to see that image. This is a satellite image from weatheronline.co.uk and it shows very nicely look, the storm system rotating around off the uh, southwestern approaches of the UK, moving into Southern Ireland just at the moment. Now, what's interesting about this system is that it has already deepened by the time it arrives in the UK. We've seen several of these systems over the last few weeks where um, the system itself has actually uh, deepened as it crossed the UK. But on this occasion, um, this system is going to be deepening as it comes through the country. These are the charts available from the Met Office. They're produced under Crown Copyright. And um, this is the analysis chart for midday on Tuesday, showing the low at 953 millibars off the southwestern parts of Ireland. Now, if we look at the 24-hour forecast chart, which takes us to midday on Wednesday, the 5th of February, you notice here that actually the low has already started to fill. It's at 958 millibars. It's already left the jet stream, and its reason for deepening has now gone away. Incidentally, look, you notice the other low down here at 982 millibars northwest of the Azores. That one still very much in the jet stream. But you notice the winds very strong. We've got isobars very close together here, showing us severe gales across central and southern parts of the country. And then if we look at the 36-hour forecast chart, which is for midnight on Thursday, notice a low that was so deep look and will have brought some very strong winds is now across Scotland. Notice how the ice bars are becoming further apart look as well. And notice how the whole system is becoming more disorganised. But just look at this little fella down here towards the southwest. That one now has a central pressure on it of, and we can just work it out here because isobars are drawn in four millibar intervals, we know this is a thousand through here because it's marked on. So the next one is 996, then 992, then we have a 988, then we have 984, then we have 980, and then the X in the middle indicating that it's at 976. So this system is a deepening system that follows in the one that has moved away. So there's lots of information that we can glean from these charts and by looking at the charts regularly we can see which low pressure systems are filling, which ones are deepening and by looking at the satellite imagery as well we can get a feel for how deep systems are and where they are moving to. So hopefully that uh, quick weather school has been useful for you. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an insight into how the charts and how satellite pictures compare. So for now, thanks for watching. And of course, you can get more information about weather school by going to weatherschool.co.uk. And of course, our forecasts are at weatherweb.net. So whatever you're doing, keep the sun shining and bye for now.